Hey guys, it's another Makeup Mystery Theater um, featuring some new products that have recently come out. Um, I'm going to take a minute and talk about my skin. I'm, I've never been so happy with my skin. I actually did something insane and I've only been using one product line for the last two, oh, the last three weeks. I've only been using one product and, um, and it's Caudalie, which is, most of you probably know Caudalie. They're famous for um, the beauty elixir. And I've been using just a mix of a bunch of different products. And for as much as I love every single brand, and I'm totally not biased, I'm really, really, really loving this. My skin is just getting so clear, like in even. So I've been using like the Radiant Serum. I've been using the Overnight Detox. Um, this Premier Crew eye cream is legit. I'm obsessed. So, anyways, that's what I've been using on my skin. Um, I'm not going to use a primer because the um, moisturizer I've been using, the Vino Perfect, is also a primer. So, it's got some radiance to it. I'm going to start, let's see, I have 15 minutes. So let's see what I can create in 15 minutes. I have no idea what I'm about to do. Okay. I'm going to start with eyes. I'm going to do... God, I got this duct tape to put around my brushes because I want them to be sparkly. But duct tape, isn't duct tape supposed to be sticky? Okay, this is what happens. I get distracted. I have 15 minutes. Let's get going. Um, I got some new Charlotte Tilbury stuff, and um, these are the color chameleons. I'm just going to do an easy smoky eye, and I'm going to use <clears throat> bronzed garnet. And I'm just going to slap this bad boy on. I'm gonna buff, buff, buff. This is one of those products, like those Trish pens I've talked about, you really want to do one eye at a time with them. They've set really quickly. This says it's for green eyes, but I've got hazel eyes, and I think this makes my hazel eyes turn green, so just use it if you like it. I'll take a little Charlotte Tilbury Rock Chick. And I'm using the, like, only color in it that looks like this. It's like a garnet. It's really pretty. This isn't the Rock Chick. I'm just kidding. This is the Dolce Vita. Ignore what I said. I actually didn't like the Rock Chick. I am. Um, no matter how I used it, it was looking. It just looked like I had a silver disco ball on my eye. Maybe it's just because I don't like silver. I'm biased. I'm using the gold pressed pigment and pop, 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 pop. Gold down here too. Fun! I look like an Olsen twin. This will work. Waterproof, YSL, black, whatever. Waterline. Really? The pencil uh, just disappeared inside the pencil. When you take your shadow out this way, you should always have a liner that extends out that way too. It wouldn't make sense if I went up and then went down with my liner. So I'm just going to like feather this up in that general direction. And because if you're following along at home and you can't do eyeliner that straight or feel confident, always give it a good smudge afterwards. It makes it more kind of supermodel and lived in.
I always smudge it after I take the liner up. I smudge it because it's supposed to just look like this, like in my mind, like a like a mess, like a put together mess. <laughs> sure, I like the way I describe that. I'm going to be using Burgundy Mascara YSL num number five Faux Sil. I think obviously I've been using a lot of burgundy in this look, so let's just keep using more burgundy. After that's done, I'm using the new Charlotte Tilbury, the retoucher. Triangle motion. I really like the feeling of this product. Basically paint your whole face. I'm going to take my beauty blender and there's a hair on it. Stretch the face down because if not, it just doesn't really get in there. So stretch it down. Even look up if you want. And just soften the edge. I have. the new Fusion Ink YSL Foundation. I've used this with my fingers and with the brush. Either one. It glides on like silk so it doesn't really matter. Any little retouches that you need to do with your shadow, go ahead. such a perfect foundation, isn't it? It's like the perfect amount of like silkiness and matteness. Using the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette Powder Palette. I'm going to use the first powder here. This one is um, Dim. It's not so much about contouring as it is really just about creating like a halo effect around the face. If you halo your face, you will be contoured. Contouring is getting out of control. If you're dark enough, like I'm a 40 or 50 in YSL, you could actually use this as like your setting powder. I'm going to use the Radiant one. Um, there's a Radiant Light in here, and this one I like to use more like a bronzer. And then the middle is a highlight. Gorgeous. What's left? The most important thing, brows. YSL pencil number three.
always groom after. If I had more time and I gave a shit, I would use the retoucher and, okay, I'll just do it. Just a little bit down here and a little bit up here and a little bit on top. Finger flat. That way you're not going to hurt your brow. You're just going to be pushing in the retoucher. You can use your beauty blender if you want, but I think it's too big to feel like the control. And just tap it into place. That's my chair, by the way. Just saying. Um, Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat, lip the uh, the uh, uh, lip cheat iconic nude. I love this lip liner. It gives me so much '90s vibe. Kate Moss. This actually has me wearing lip liner, which I never do. I'm ready. Set everything with the beauty elixir. Starbucks for your skin. I put that in my purse and take it with me today. Mm. And what do I want to do for my lip color? Some my favorite gloss, Clarence. This is the Instant Light Lip Perfector. And the color is number one. Perfect! I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and hanging in there with me while I um, try to find more time to make these videos for you. So, thanks so much. As always, I hope you learned something. Um, even if it's just the way that I, the faces that I make and stuff like that. So hopefully you take something from this because otherwise there's no point to what I'm doing. So <laughs> thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe up top and um, it's the same name on Instagram and Facebook. So if you are a fan, please subscribe and um, I will continue to be motivated to make these videos for you. Thank you. Bye.